Hi, my name is Stacey Brook, and I am the founder and chief advisor at College Essay Advisors, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about the difference between early decision and early action deadlines. There are actually quite a few types of deadlines to keep track of in the admissions universe now. There is early decision, there's early action, there are also a couple more uh, newer terms that have been sprinkled into the pot. So we're gonna define as many of these for you as we possibly can so you understand what you need to accomplish and what these things mean. Early decision. So early decision, it's not offered by every institution, um, but typically you will apply some more early decision if you are willing to make a solid commitment to a school. It's a way to demonstrate interest. Um, you're saying to a school, you are the one for me. I don't wanna go anywhere else. If you accept me, I accept you. We accept each other and we will be together forever or for the next four years. That's early decision. If they accept you, you have to take the offer. Some of the complications with early decision, some of the reasons that people don't apply early decision to schools is that it inhibits your ability to compare financial aid packages, which is a real shame. Um, but for those who do have the option of applying early decision, um, it can definitely help your chances of getting admitted. Early action. So early action is similar to early decision in that it's a way for you to demonstrate interest to a college. You're saying you are my top school or one of my top schools. Um, you can only apply to one school early decision. Many schools allow you to apply uh, early action to multiple places. Um, again, this is not an option, a deadline option that every school offers, but it's becoming more and more popular. Um, UVA offers it. Another thing that is probably important to mention is that the early decision and early action deadlines come earlier <laughs> than the regular decision deadlines. Um, typically, I, the first early decision and early action deadlines roll in around October 15th. Many of them, most of them fall on November 1st. So for those of you who are planning to apply early to any schools, some things you're gonna wanna have taken care of by October, mid-October at the latest, um, are your personal statement and then the supplemental essays for any of the schools to which you plan on submitting these early apps. Of course, because this isn't complicated enough, there are a couple of other early action deadlines that are slightly more specific. They're called either single choice early action or restrictive early action. And in these cases, um, for schools that offer this to you, you are gonna demonstrate interest by applying early action somewhere, but you do have, if you're accepted um, with restricted or single choice early, early action, you don't have to make the commitment until you see how things shake out with your regular decision school so you can compare financial aid um, offers or anything else that you might be weighing. So um, not a ton of schools offer that, but it is another option that's floating around. Rolling admission. Um, there are schools that allow you to apply on a rolling basis, which means that when you send in your application, it will be reviewed. This is kind of a beautiful thing because if you send something in in September, you might know in October whether or not you got in. Um, so it is to your advantage with these schools to get your apps in as early as possible. I think as long as you get them in by September, October, you're probably in a pretty good spot. And finally, regular decision deadline. The deadline that everybody knows, the deadline that, um, the final deadline. That's when all of the applications um, are finally due, the absolute last day you can hand them in. For many schools, it's January 1st. There are a bunch of liberal arts schools that spill over into February and March. Personally, if I were you, I would love to have everything done by the end of the year. Um, so for all of your regular decision schools, I think you should probably be shooting to wrap those up by the fall. Even if you're applying to schools, early decision and early action, maybe even especially if you're applying to schools, early decision and early action, I would try to get all of those regular decision essays and components out of the way before you get your decision and, uh, and just be prepared for whatever happens. Have some options for yourself. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We will be releasing new videos regularly and we also have a ton of advice up on our channel already. So check us out and we look forward to seeing you soon.